Miami-Dade police, with the public's help, identify a man attempted abduction of a two-year-old boy. Detectives said the boy was with his mother at South Ridge Park back on September 15th, around lunchtime when an unknown man grabbed the boy by the shoulder. The mother confronted the man who fled. The subject pictured approached the juvenile while he was walking away with his mom playing at the park, grabbed him, and attempted to leave with the child. The child's mother was able to intervene, causing the subject to release the child and flee on foot in an unknown direction. Anyone with information is asked and urged to contact Crime Stopper at 305-471-8477. Also, over in Cleveland, more than 1,000 minors reported missing just this year, including almost 50 kids just in the month of September. According to the Attorney General's Office Missing Children's website, a total of 1,072 children have been reported missing so far in 2023 from the Cleveland Akron area. That includes more than 45 children reported missing from the Cleveland area in September so far. In August, more than 35 minors were reported missing from the same area. Attorney General Dave Yost says, of course we are worried about that. Now we know when we look behind the numbers, some of those represent repeated runaways and local police have talked about that. He says all of these things have localized reporting problems that again are a function of local conditions. We do our best to encourage compliance and approve assistance to remove barriers, but at the end of the day, we have to rely on local partners that we don't control. He says, I am fearful of all kinds of things that fall through the cracks that include missing children. I rely on the tenacity of a worried parent more than I do someone whose job it is to put the data into a computer. Law enforcement can't be everywhere and can't see everything, you said. We rely on the people, the population, because we have 11.7 million pairs of eyes out there that can keep an eye out. Nearly 30 children were reported missing in the Cleveland area in the first two weeks of May. The ages of the children has been reported as a high level of 12 to 17 year olds. For some reason, in 2023, we've seen a lot more than we normally see, which is troubling in part because we don't know what's going on with some of these kids, whether they're being trafficked or whether they're involved in gang activity or drugs. A group of Cleveland missing volunteers gathered Saturday to search for 15-year-old Keyshawn Williams, who has been missing more than 90 days. Williams vanished from a house party on June 17th. There's just not enough police officers in the streets to do this as a law enforcement. The public is our greatest asset. We can't do this without the public. Keyshawn's grandmother feel concerned about her grandson's whereabouts being ignored. She said, if it's beyond that and something unthinkable has happened, I know that God is there. She said God is with them and he's protected wherever he is. God is. I know that. Keyshawn Williams is 5'7", black hair, has braids, brown eyes. He was last seen June 17, 23, wearing black jogging pants and a t-shirt with red and gray Jordan sneakers. Anyone with information, please contact CPD at 216-623-5400. As always, guys, be safe.